It's really very simple. If we produce our own fuel, we will have cheaper bills. The energy advisor to the government, Lord Brown, who is also the chairman of Quadrilla and a large investor in that company, which is one of the companies leading the charge for fracking in the UK, has already come out and said categorically, advise the government that fracking will not reduce energy bills. It is going to keep a monopoly of energy with the big six companies, which means energy prices are going to continue rising as they keep increasing the energy prices 20% year on year. The fracking industry will generate 70,000 new jobs in Britain alone. The Institute of Directors have been the main people behind a jobs argument and inter interestingly the very first Institute of Directors report was part paid for by Quadrilla who were, who were doing the drilling in Lancashire. What they say is there's going to be about 5,000 jobs from this process but about 64,000 jobs when those 5,000 people spend their income. When they count the job figures, they count not only the people employed by that industry, they count people who work as chambermaids and waitresses, and in some parts of the states, they count sex workers. If you want to make a difference, you need a different economic strategy, not more of the same. We don't want to rely on Russia for our fuel or anybody else. We need to be fracking now so that we have enough fuel for energy security. Without fracking, we're in real danger of the lights going out. The idea of national security implies that somehow this is our gas. The way our economy works is we buy and sell at different prices on a European market, which is also part of a worldwide market, that dictates the prices. We don't say, we grew it here, it's ours. Ask yourself what energy security really means to you. What is that? What does it really mean? It's a buzzword. The fact remains that if we stay on target to meet our climate targets by 2020, we'll have already reduced our energy dependence on foreign oil and gas by 65%. And as for Putin, the amount of gas we get from him is so small, it's nothing. And so we don't need Putin and we don't need fracking. <laughs> This isn't the Wild West, you know. Britain has always had a gold standard regulation of health and safety, and we will continue to ensure complete safety throughout the UK fracking industry. About that gold standard, you know, we keep getting told we have a gold standard of regulation. Well, we were told we had a gold standard banking regulation, and then we had to bail the banks out. We were told we had gold standard food regulations, and then we found horse meat in our mints. According to the industry's own data, 5% of wells fail immediately, which means the cement casing breaks down and leaves an open pathway for the chemicals used in the fracking fluid to migrate into the water table. 50% of them fail within 30 years. And don't forget, even with gold standard regulation, accidents will occur. They will. That's just inevitable. Fracking is going to help us bridge the gap to a renewable energy future. That's exactly the same terminology that was used in the United States. 40 years ago, People were making the argument that gas would be our bridge to re renewable energy, and we haven't seen that. We've seen it now being sold as our energy future. We're running out not just of oil, but of many other minerals essential that make technological society work. And so this whole model of industrialism, which we've had for 250 years, has reached its limits, and now it's time to change. We hear a lot of buzzwords repeated all the time. They all sound quite good, but scratch the surface and see what they really mean. I think you'll be surprised.